family it took us a few extra minutes to get everything outside and then rose woke up literally two minutes ago so we had to get her up but we're here we're here for a beautiful saw friday night here in chicago we're here for hashtag fridays with flav and we're making literally the ultimate summer recipe we're gonna hang out we're gonna grill we're gonna chill we're gonna drink some rose we're gonna have a grand old time and I'm stoked for this menu, but hello for the first time this week. Um, the reason why we weren't doing any live streams uh, Tuesday or Thursday is because we're cranking, you guys. We're cranking for the new cookbook, uh, doing the manuscript, calculating the macros. Art and I were like macros calculating machines the last few days, uh, but we're good to go, right? So uh, you know the drivio. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Uh, let us know what you're making for dinner. Say hi to the one and only Arthur T. Hello, 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 everybody. I'll go sell him more. Nice, grill. Good to see you. Nice and Welcome hot here. Back. I'm liking what's going on. Um, so we're gonna do one of my favorite culinary terms ever today called spatchcock. What does spatchcock mean? It means when you take a beautiful bird, in this case, a pasture-raised chicken, and you cut out the backbone. What does that do? Well, look, it lays flat. What's the beauty of that? It cooks evenly, it cooks more juicy, and it cooks quicker than cooking a whole bird. So that's what I did. I'll talk about the marinated. I, uh, I started about three hours ago and all that jazz. What's up, Art? Kiko Pepe Guerra, Kiko. 99 cent with a turd. I love the turd. Thank Starting you. off the live stream on a good note there. My boy Fusion 210 is doing a chicken tomorrow on the Weber Kettle. That sounds good. Finley and Tuntas are in the house. Finley, just so you know, before the summer's over, Art is going to make a whole prime brisket cooked and smoked on a Weber kettle grill. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be exciting. Sparks Carnival, $5. Happy National Avocado Day today. It is? Dang! That's like the only ingredient we don't have in today's uh, menu. We have chicken. We have uh, fresh peppers, asparagus. We got keto cauliflower Asparag crust. We got uh, harissa. We got a dairy-free sour cream, all that good stuff. We got Maddie and Jill in Chicago nice. today. Nice. I'll be seeing Maddie and Jill, Chopsky, mother and daughter, Manana. Shark Troyer in the house. Nice. Stang man was outside. It was storming. 102 Whoa. degrees in Austin, Texas. So, guys, keep them coming. We got Area 51 here. Um, so, here's the menu. We're going to make a whole grilled spatchcock chicken with a preserved lemon. Where is it? I saw D. Brown in the house, oh, too. So preserved beef. lemon chutney, uh, a little harissa dipping sauce, and grilled vegetables. And then we're going to make a skillet cookie, right, Art? That's right. And a $25 Cheryl. super chat from Cheryl Lil Balder. $25. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you for that. I know we had, oh, here it is. Check this out, Art. This is preserved lemons. I've never cooked with them before. I've had them before. It's whole lemons packed in salt water, and it makes the lemons. 100% edible, including the skin, and they're salty and briny and sour. We're going to make a chutney out of that. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Tell me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, so, this is a pasture raised chicken, which they have at Thrive Market right now. Um, I got it at a local shop here in Chicago called Local Foods, and it's been marinating all day in uh, olive oil ancho chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika, coriander, a ton of extra virgin olive oil, and uh, I think a little bit of lemon zest. Um, if it's Fridays with Flav, you know it's going to be sponsored by Thrive Market. Set your alarms too, because they're also sponsoring a rare brunch at Bobby's on Sunday morning around 10 o'clock. That's going to be a lot of fun. We'll make a keto paleo brunch. So here's the deal with Thrive Market. If you don't know about them, everything you normally get at the grocery store, your favorite keto, paleo, gluten-free products, is cheaper on Thrive Market. On average, per order, you save $32 for buying the same things on Thrive Market than the grocery store. The box comes to your door. They have pasture-raised chicken right now. We're still waiting on the pasture-raised pork, which is amazing. Uh, so right below the video is my promo link. You get a free gift that's up to a $22 value when you sign up. I think one of the free gifts right now is grass-fed chomps, which I talked about in today's video I launched this afternoon. Check them out because if you don't like Thrive Market, you could always cancel, get your membership feedback, but at least you get to keep the free gift. Bobby, I'm going to take this opportunity yes, to get caught up on our Super Chats. Oh, yes, we got please. Jerry from the New Jersey Shore Jer. who just generously gave us $5 as a Super Chat. We thank you, Jerry. And Char Troyer. 
1999 BLTs today. Ooh, Desi's been Thank all you, about Char. BLTs. I love that. We got Chris in New Mexico making ooh flat enchiladas. Que paso? We got Stockton, Stockton is the black walnut capital of the world. I did not know that. Black Stangman's walnuts are lost very, very rare. 79 pounds from January 1st through Stangman's today. And fuego. Let's give it up for Chris in Austin. Go to Jang's in the house. Go to Jang's. So this is going to take a while to cook a whole chicken. So before we get into talking and coffee talking, my boy Tyler from the ATL. Oh no, from San Francisco. I guess you decided to return those all birds. No, actually I didn't. I still have them because someone told me to get these patches you put in the back of the shoe that prevent your heels from rubbing. Because in case you don't know, I bought all birds and they're very, very um, comfy, but they're rubbing my heel. So then I bought a pair of Adams, which are not comfortable at all. But I'm going to try to put some kind of like, you know, some kind of like adhesive on the back of the shoe so my heel doesn't rub. All right, let's go to the grill real quick. Ashley Annette wonders if there's a way to make zucchini or onion rings healthy-ish. Ah. Uh, yeah, the way to make them healthy-ish, Ash, would be to coat them in a gluten-free, grain-free flour, like an all-purpose gluten-free flour mix, and then fry them in avocado oil. That's what I would do. And maybe, uh, do you want to bread them with like some chicharrones? Yeah, you could do that. You can do, uh, first dip them in, uh, in a little bit of coconut flour, then in eggs, and then in chicharrones, and then fry them. That'd actually be better than gluten-free, because then it'd be keto, keto, 100% keto. So here's Kiko, Pepe Guerra, $1.99 with a heart. Thank you, Kiko. Rose Honey Bunny. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, as the chicken goes on the grill. Come on out, Rose. D Brown. Hey, sweetie. D Brown with a super chat, $2. D. Art, yeah. please freeze my portion of the brisket. You rock. <laughs> Hello. Everyone say hi to Rose Honey. Say hi to Kara. Say hi. Can you wave to everyone? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Before this goes on the grill, I'm going to put a little more salt on here. So check it out. I have my beautiful bird and marinated. I just want a little more salt to really reinforce that crust. Probably really that looks like a lot of salt. Uh, well, think how big the bird is. Think about how I want it to penetrate the meat. And a lot of it's going to stick to the grill or fall off when I do this. Now, and if any of you accuse me of actually being serious about <laughs> that, I'll comment. All right, check it out. Ready? Boom. Chicken's down. Now. This is not a complicated technique. It's actually relatively easy. But the only tough part is chicken skin is very flammable. So the key is to slowly render out the fat so the chicken skin doesn't go on fire. If that happens, what you're going to do is overcook or burn the skin and the inside is going to be raw. So I just turned the heat down to basically low on the primary burners here. I'm going to move it a little bit and high-ish on the corners. Slowly, I want to get that skin rendered out, and then later on, I'll turn the heat up a little bit, close that, and create like an oven effect. But right now, I'm just going to let it chill a little bit here. To the next episode? Yes. What do you think of the Alexia brand onion rings? Uh, no, look at the uh, look at the oil they use, you guys. It's not a quality oil. I think it's Expeller Press Canola Oil. Not good. Which is a bummer, because you're better off, uh, it's a pain in the ass to actually make your own uh, onion rings. So what are you going to do? Okay. I'm going to close the lid just to get a little bit of a heat action here. But once again, the three primary burners are low as can be. The burners on the side are on medium high. Sherry Howe and some others are hoping you do a beer can chicken on the grill. I've actually never done that. That's a great it idea. It comes out really well. Yeah, I'd love to do that. But this is actually fantastic because wait till you see the skin after about 30 to 35 minutes. And what's the only way, Art, we're going to know this chicken's done? The thermometer. We got to put a thermometer in there. We're going to do it. So. That goes down. We'll keep our eye on there. Let's go back. Let's say how to Rose again. If you haven't done Char so Char is going to do grilled porterhouse steaks tomorrow. The cost is going way up. Ooh, that's a, Rose, can you say hi to everyone? Rose just woke hey, up from her nap. Hi, hi Rosie. Hi. Say hi. She literally woke up from her nap like two minutes before we started this live stream. So give her a few minutes to wake up. That sounds good, Char. Because it's Fridays with Flav, let's pour a little glass of Keto Rosé. Are those jarred lemons at Whole Food? Um, no, actually, the company sent it to me because I asked them to send me some harissa for some recipes I was doing. And they're like, oh, let me send you these uh, preserved lemons. Um, you could probably buy them. Check if Thrive Market has them because you, uh, you can use the link down below for that. And they also make what I love. This is actually at uh, Thrive Market or Whole Foods, harissa. Harissa is a North African chili paste. So let's make the sauce right now. By the way, cheers. Cheers to the end of another great week. Like I said, the reason we didn't do a live stream during the week is because we were crushing the manuscript for the five ingredient semi-homemade cookbook. 
crushing macros. We calculated detailed macros, calories, net carbs, total carbs, fat, protein, fiber on every recipe 54 or 55 in the cookbook. We nailed it to a T. It's a pain in the butt to do, but we did it. We did, filmed videos this week. I got a video coming out tomorrow about the worst artificial sweeteners. I got a diabetics grocery store guide coming on Sunday. We dropped the protein video today with Chomps and, whole, and uh, Thrive Market. Cheers. M. Sheldon has a $3 super chat. Rumor has it you got a $400 super chat last week. That is the rumor. The great guy named Randy. I just sent Randy a book in the mail this week with some gifts. And uh, he actually did mean to send it. Uh, he tried to send it three times and his bank refused it and he finally got it through. So let's keep track of what's going on here. Whole grilled chicken with a beautiful marinade is on the grill. I wanna make a couple sauces uh, for the chicken. The first one is gonna be harissa and sour cream dipping sauce because we're also gonna grill. Did you know my favorite outer aisle cauliflower crust come in pizza size? I'm gonna grill these and then make a wrap out of the chicken. And then after that, we're going to make a preserved lemon, mint, parsley, and basil relish to put all over that chicken when it comes off the grill. Insane flavors. The entire dish is keto, paleo, and delicioso. It's going to be great. Okay, so keep chiming in down below. Let's make our harissa yogurt. We're keeping this dairy-free by using this. All right. Randy Ippolito chimed in to say that uh, she's a woman. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Randy. Randy, uh, your book, if you didn't get it, will be there very, very soon. Annette. Uh, oh, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, go ahead. Was... Annette, the uh, kale oh, uh, Annette, stripper the... tool just chimed in. Happy. Annette, the kale stripper. That and... sounds very racist. <laughs> <laughs> Happy end of July to you. Sorry. That... I wanted to give you credit for that little hack, but that's uh, kind of weird. Uh, we so just got a super chat. Right, going on there? I got a little flare up, so I just move it, right? See, it's actually not really a flare up from the chicken skin. It's because my darn grill got dirty again on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is turn this down here and just move it to a cooler part of the grill. See, the key is, look, we're already starting the marks here. If I render this too quick or if the heat is too high, you're going to burn the skin. Once you burn the skin, you've ruined it. So once again, the key is just heat regulation. If you have a better grill than me, which you probably do, have a hot zone, a cool zone, and put it somewhere in the middle to start. But once you get really good sear marks and the skin has a little fat rendered out, you can jack up the heat. Amira Moncayo, hello. Renee um, Denham, $24.99, super chat. Renee sent me a, she sends me great emails about what you got at Costco and all that stuff. High five to everyone for a beautiful start to Fridays with Flav. So I'm making this dairy-free harissa sauce with my favorite new dairy-free sour cream. So this is cashew-based. And unlike their competitor in the market, which is made by Kite Hill, these guys don't put maltodextrin in there, which Gen is really nice. Jennifer Singh is asking if we can say Eid Mubarak to all those who are celebrating. Oh, yes. Eid Mubarak to everyone, absolutely. I feel like, no, this is better. Oh, wow. My right side of the grill is just on fire. So ridiculous. Golly. I literally clean the grill that was a month ago, and I don't grill like a ton, but it's already filthy dirty. Now I'm afraid that we're not gonna be able to cook that properly because there's an inferno about to start on the right side. Goju Chang says grease trap. Oh, let's, uh, let's see, Goju. Let's see. I don't think that's what's on fire. I, um, uh, who is that? Indian men only, the sour cream is from uh, Forager. It is pretty full, but that's not what's on fire. So harissa is actually a North African chili paste. Ah, gosh. So come over here, see what's going on there. Oh, wait, 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 Forager or Kite Hill? Who was it? Oh, uh, that's Forager. Forager, okay. So we're gonna have to evacuate the dance floor. Holy shnikes. We're gonna have to evacuate. Whoa, that's not good. You shut it off yet? No, the chicken's actually fine. Nothing's happening to it. Yeah, it's the you bottom need to of the grill. turn off the heat source, dude. Yep, so look, the chicken's totally fine. Look at that. I hate this grill. I'm gonna use my neighbor's grill, Christine, actually. Let's close the door here. Did you turn off the tank yet? Oh, let's do that too. I'm so tired of this grill. I keep saying I'm gonna wait till I get the, the next house, but I don't know if I can wait anymore. I don't think you should wait, man. Yeah, this is, this is brutal. Okay, let's use Christine's grill. She won't mind. So, let's come over here. And let, me, let me knock on her door. Okay. Second. So, we weren't expecting that. Can I use your grill? Fireworks are illegal in the state of Illinois, so we go for the uh, All right, come uh, over here, Artie. blazing out of control grill. 
stay over there though. Okay, so we got permission to use their grill, which is great. Because I literally cleaned that my grill three, four weeks ago, and I just can't believe it's still doing that. That's crazy. This is the Weber. It's better than that fancy KitchenAid one. It's just such a joke, that KitchenAid one. Oh, there we go. I guess it works better when you open the gas valve. Yeah. Stangman says you need his grill school ASAP. No, I don't need it. I need a new grill. My schooling is fine, Chris. Somebody said it's not the grill, it's the maid cleaning the grill. Well, yes, that's true. But to be fair, it, it shouldn't get that dirty in four weeks. That's a little ridiculous. So let's, let's let this heat up for a few minutes and we'll come back. But even though we had a raging inferno, you gotta give me some props. Look, we got no burnage on that chicken. That's exactly what you wanna see. Let's see what's going on in this inferno here, all right? The fire's dying now. We need to start the fire. It was always burning since Bobby's been grilling. Let's make the uh, let's make the harissa in the meantime here. I wasn't expecting this drama. We need a little rosé here. Okay, so dairy-free sour cream's in here. If you're gonna use regular sour cream, use organic sour cream. That's the way to go. Now, this, my friends, is. Harissa paste. Harissa is a North African chili paste. It's not that spicy because I got the mild one, but this stuff it has the right amount of heat, sweet, and tang. And unlike other ones at the grocery store, I want you to see the ingredients on this. This is one of the few I can find that use what kind of oil? Check it out. Extra virgin olive oil. That's what you want. Very, very, very important. Yeah, where's Rose? She went back inside and then she didn't come back out. I guess it's probably a good idea. Then we'll put a little bit of salt in there. This will just be a sauce for the chicken. A little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna save the lemons for the next recipe. But what if I just take a little bit of the juice? You like what the juice are? I haven't had that kind of juice, so I don't want to say anything Imagine yet. Imagine a salty, briny flavor. It's like a pickled flavor. You're gonna like that. You're gonna like the way you look at it. I, I guarantee, guarantee it. it. All right, so- we'll um, I gotta that. get caught up on a super chat here. It was interrupted yes. by the excitement. Milwaukee Brewer. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. You mentioned my homie. You mentioned that allulose comes in liquid form, but everything I've seen is powder. One YouTuber says that an advantage is that it caramelizes nicely. Another says that it makes his homemade ice cream stay creamy for days. That's interesting. I've never heard of a sugar alcohol making ice cream creamy. I've only seen that one from uh, Costco, where it's just a big liquid one. But to be fair, I haven't used allulose, so I gotta research that a little more. And we just got a 1999 super chat Steve from Steve C. 9.99 of it's toward a grill. Ten dollars is for Rose. Or, you hear that, Rosie? Ten dollars coming your way. <laughs> and uh, Stangman saying that you should have had a drip pan underneath the chicken to keep it from uh, dripping fat onto the uh, mm, things. Interesting. Yeah. I guess that's what they teach in Stangman's Grilling School, huh? <laughs> We're going to have to go to Austin and take it. I want a little bit of herbs for this. So why don't I grab some basil from, uh, once again, my neighbor. I'm using the grill. I'm using their uh, basil, some mint, and then we have parsley inside. So let's see what's going on. Hi, Rose. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Joseph Finley, $4.99. Bobby, can't dirty a grill if you don't have one. Jack Handy. That's a great point. Words of wisdom. All right, you stay up here. I'm going to run down there Deep real quick. Thoughts by Jack Handy. I bet it would be very embarrassing if you were a young mobster out on a date. All right, so I'm going to grab some mint. And somebody tried to you kill you. You guys all know by now, this is that beautiful wild mint that grows right here. I just can't get over the flavor on this. Flavor is just dino. Mm. So we'll use mint, we'll use basil, and we'll use uh, fresh parsley. That combined with the chicken and the sauce, that's really all you need. It's gonna be lovely. All right, so we got that. Smells dino. Can't understand a word. <laughs> Can't hear anything you're saying, but they can. They can, that's all that matters. I'm not saying anything that important. Then we'll grab some basil here. So check it out, Art. This is Thai purple basil. This is Italian green. 
But whenever you see these buds at the top of your basil, get rid of them because these flower buds prevent the leaves from actually growing. So you want to prune them as much as possible. I'll use a mixture of the Thai and the green. But think about what we're doing. So the sauce has the cooling yogurt, the dairy-free yogurt, the harissa, and a bunch of fresh herbs. That goes on the grilled chicken. But also what's going to go on the grilled chicken is the uh, preserved lemon relish with preserved lemon, a ton of extra virgin olive oil, and uh, more of the mint, parsley, and basil. It's going to be so fresh. Then we'll grill up some of those cauliflower thin pizza crust and make almost like a wrap. It's going to be a keto grilled chicken wrap, kind of like Moroccan style. It's going to be really, really lovely. We just got a $5 super chat from Randy oh, Ippolito. $5 and a pear that is laughing at you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Randy. All right, let's go over. We're laughing with you. Let's go over the good. Yeah, with me, not at me, right? Let's go and over the uh, another super chat, Linda C, $5 for the new grill fund. <laughs> I'm starting a Patreon for a new grill. All right, so we'll throw it down this beautiful grill here. Take our chicken, throw it down just like that. Now we're going to fill up this entire grill. I have to put a lot of uh, peppers and uh, asparagus on here. So that goes down. That thing on? Yeah. Okay. It's on full blast. So that's good. We'll, turn, we'll close this. Let's go back and cut all the uh, vegetables to put on here. Thank God for the neighbor, huh? Save the day again. Woo! Linda, $5 for the new grill fund. All right, guys. If you're just joining, we have 834 people watching. We're off to a rocky start. Another fireball. This is probably the fourth fireball this summer erupted on our grill, but it didn't ruin any of the menu items. We're making grilled spatchcock chicken, a whole grilled chicken with harissa yogurt sauce, with preserved lemon relish, with grilled asparagus, grilled uh, peppers, and the keto cauliflower thins. Hi, five. Nathaniel Cooper says, did you know that Peter Pan now has a natural peanut butter that is just peanuts and salt? Their I did natural not know peanut that, butter that has honey has one gram of added sugar and the honey is organic well are you peter pan has organic honey that's crazy wow. uh brad parham says it's hard to tell if the grill's on when it's not smoking like a 1972 dodge dart <laughs> was that al bundy's car brad i don't know if you watched that show back in the day <laughs> high five for bobby and the pyrotechnics from viviana Not viviana what's up ray chi murray is that a super chat i see uh ooh, yeah <laughs> i don't know what i was just saying but <laughs> five dollars Great minds Richie. think alike. I made your spatchcock chicken recipe last night. I have my Denver lab ribs marinating Woo! for Sunday. Love you guys. Bobby, what are your thoughts on Julian Bakery products? Uh, Julian Bakery is hit or miss, to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I am the biggest fan of Rachie from San Quentin, California. Finley tells us that Patreon's in a lot of trouble. They lost a major lawsuit today. You know what? I've never messed with that. I'm not a big fan of like, hey guys, give me money in exchange. I'll give you like exclusive content and stuff like that. I'm just not a fan of that. I'd rather have you support me with super chats if you want, but more importantly, cookbooks. When my new app comes out with the barcode scanner, when the uh, when the when uh, my first product, the Flea City Immune Tea comes out, that's what's important to me. And uh, Breathing Nerdum, $5, finally filming a cooking video right now. Creamy chicken tacos topped with chorizo and chicken chicharrones and a little lime squeezed Dang, on top. That sounds good. I can't wait to see that, right? All right, so guys, we're going to move on here. Um, if you haven't done so yet, check out the Thrive Market link right below the video. So I can't talk enough positive things about Thrive. Right below the video, check that out, Art. There's my special link. When you sign up for the first time with my link, you get a free gift. Right now, one of the gifts is grass-fed chomps. I would check that out. Thrive has all of your favorite groceries for cheaper than the grocery store. But even if you don't like Thrive after a month, send them a text message or a chat. They'll give you your uh, annual membership feedback if you don't like them, but you keep the free gift. It's risk-free, but the box comes to your door with my favorite collagen peptides, with Desi's favorite cacao. Let me see what's going on over here. So Milwaukee Brewer chimed in to say that the script said that Al Bundy drove a Dodge Dart, but the car that was actually shown was a Plymouth Duster. And for those of you that don't know, uh, there's a community north of the city called Deerfield, Illinois, and there's a house on Castlewood Ooh, Lane, not which is the house here, used in the intro of the show that supposedly the Bundys lived in. However, the show was filmed in the studio and not at that house, so there you go. 
Uh, we got a super chat. Can't, can't, can't catch a break here. From Susan Credor. This grill is getting a little hot too. Four ninety nine. dollars Using some Hatch Chili Harissa from HEB for my snapper tonight. We'll use for ribs tomorrow. God bless brisket, Texas, and art. That sounds Thank you, great. Susan. Amen to that. So this was getting too hot too, so we got a little too much color right here. Too hot to handle? Not terrible. Too hot to hold? I'm turning this down as low as possible. Here's the funny thing is, you guys see my story from last Sunday. We did this exact recipe and it worked perfectly, but it's all about heat control. So if you don't have the proper heat, you're screwed. So, oh, M. Sheldon, $2. Is Zevia Soda Bobby approved? It is because it's the only sugar-free alternative for sodas. Even though it has natural flavors, I don't care in that case because I'd rather you have sugar-free soda than either a lot of soda with sugar or the bad sugar-free soda like aspartame or sucralose. Gochujang says your chicken is now a black crow. No, 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 dude, come on. Can we vote right now? So far, get a good look at that. Would you say right now this chicken's in good shape, moderate shape, or it's a lost cause. I think it's perfect. Do you, to be honest, that right there is not the biggest deal because that's dark meat there. I actually like the flavor yeah. of that. To be honest, I think it's fine, but you guys vote. I'm gonna leave the grill open because I think this is a very hot grill. Yeah, well, Gochu Jang, or Gochu Jang's mentioning the hard to handle because they yes. had some, yeah. Well, hard to handle rather than hot to handle. Hey, little thing, it. let me let you handle I was going to actually start saying hot handle now. Mess around. Uh, Ralph Cisneros, $10. One trick is to cook the whole chicken 20 minutes in an Instapot, then grill it on high heat for 15 minutes to make it crispy. The fat is left in the Instapot. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Instant but I'm telling you, pot. under normal situations, I promise you, it's really, really easy to do it. My grill stinks. I didn't know uh, that grill had a super hot spot. So trust me, it's going to work one way or another. I promise you when that chicken's done, it won't be burnt anywhere except for that one little spot, and it's going to be juicy AF. Let's get the rest of the uh, veggies on the grill. So I got my beautiful red peppers. And like I said earlier, mark your calendars for Sunday morning, probably 10 o'clock. We're going to do a rare brunch at Bobby's live stream. Uh, I don't think Art's going to come down for that. That'll be me and uh, Desi, because uh, Thrive Market wanted to sponsor a breakfast uh, live stream. We're going to make probably frittatas. Uh, paleo pancakes, maybe some uh, Insta fuel and some other really good stuff. So we'll see you on Sunday morning, bright and early. Annette has to run back to work. Good luck at work, Annette. Thanks Annette's, for tuning in. Great to see you. Once again, the inventor of the uh, kale hack. Thank you for that, Annette. I uh, if you're it. keeping score at home, Viviana's just chimed in to say, chicken one, grill zero. <laughs> uh, Viviana's keeping score with a cool... Uh, Lime Marita in her hand. That's and uh, Ben Parkholt, Guten uh, Ben from Deutschland, Art. Right back at you, Ben. Nice. Please keep checking in. Let us know where you're watching from. That's very, very important. I'm kind of keeping an eye on the grill. That's why before when I looked, I'm like, there's smoke coming from that grill, too. And D. Brown wanted to point out that Costco has grills in stock. Just saying. <laughs> and Gochu Chang asked, wasn't Bobby supposed to go inside? Uh, yeah, isn't that funny? I haven't been inside yet. Can I get a little props for that at least? We, Art and I had a good prep session there, right? So, a spare guy. I'll just take the bottom off and then I'll shave a little bit here. So, this part here is really tough and woody. It's literally inedible right there. Is Mike's Hard Lemonade body approved? Oh, God, no. Are you kidding me? That's toxic. No way. No way. Edgewater in the house. Welcome, Nikki. Welcome, welcome. welcome. It, the, one of the few Bobby approved uh, hard sodas is actually at Costco. I talked about it in a story recently. It does have natural flavors, but it has organic fruit. Does anyone know the name I'm talking about? It, it's a brand I hadn't seen before, but unlike Truly or Hard Claw, it's organic. And uh, they use stevia to sweeten it, which is really, really cool. Viviana says she's working on a Bobby approved Lamarita. <laughs> Good luck, Viviana. Oh, she's going to pull it together. I have, I have confidence. If you have that done before the end of the summer, I would be very, very impressed. I guarantee you she will. <laughs> Hard claw, says Lisa Kurz. No, no, it's not hard claw. It's not hard claw. Maha. Maybe it's Maha. It had a really cool packaging, too. I showed it on stories, and people are like, ooh, that, that's actually a really good one. I don't drink that kind of stuff, and I'm still scarred from that time. Viviana made us try a La Marita. Tasted like a foul, foul tonic. It's made with malt liquor. Who makes a lime marita with malt liquor? That was terrible. Uh, Guinness beer is Brielle approved. Brielle <laughs> Mercier. Guinness is great. I just 
Just make sure it's chilled, Bobby. Yeah, not, not this room like temperature room, Guinness. Does anyone else like drink, a freak. Does anyone else drink room temperature beer like me? I love it. I think it tastes good. I don't know what the GMO laws are in uh, Ireland. Hopefully it's made with non-GMO grains. Because any beer made in the U.S. that's not organic is made with GMO wheat. Because remember, even though it's not a genetically modified crop, they spray all conventional wheat and oats with Roundup to dry it out at the end of the growing process as did a you, desiccant. Did you mean to say organic wheat? Uh, only conventional wheat has uh, the glyphosate. Organic doesn't have any. Natasha Brown, $5. What kind of keto wine were you drinking? Right here. Check it out. This is uh, the Seco Wine Club. I have a promo code from a previous live stream. If you check out our live streams from last week, I should have a discount on the shipping. So what is keto wine? It's wine that has no sugar added during the winemaking process, something that almost all wines have, and there's zero chemicals. So you won't get a headache. It's really not the sulfites in wine. Winemaking is dirty. They can add up to 75 chemicals, and it really messes with your head. These guys add zero. There's a couple brands like that I saw uh, Cameron Diaz now has her own uh, sugar-free, chemical-free keto wine, which is really cool. Nathaniel Cooper, I'm going to guess the answer is no, but let's check with Bobby. Can I sub almond flour with coconut flour for your recipes? Negatory. Very, very different in terms of the dryness and the absorption of the flowers. Is Wanu water Bobby approved? Wanu water? I never heard of that. All right. That's a new one. All right, let's uh, get these Toons, is, the grill. Toons is wants to know if cotton candy is Bobby approved. <laughs> On a serious note, my local store keeps running out of organic Michelob Ultra. See? The, I actually love that organic uh, pure gold is really, Have really good. Have you had the prickly pear version? Um, I've had that too. No, I was asking to, or, uh, Finley. <laughs> yeah, was, that wasn't my favorite. Milwaukee Brewer, $20. The Milwaukee all knowing Brewer. internet says that allulose is a low calorie sugar and not a sugar alcohol. Okay. Makes sense because it doesn't end in tar. Ah. When it resembles fructose, it appears to have no effect on blood That's glucose so interesting. levels. That sounds similar Wild to like uh, resembles. that sugar from uh, Yacon. Yacon from the South American uh, potato. Very interesting. I'll try that out. Tropica protein powder, Bobby approved. Truvia is one of the best on the market. This is Trupica. Never heard of that, but Truvia is really good. There's a new one I keep seeing advertised online. It's um, made with grass-fed beef, real beef. They boil the beef and then blend it into a protein powder. I can't find the ingredients. I hope it doesn't have natural flavors, Shoot, but I it, still need to look up really, really, really good. Go to Jank. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's get our vegetables on the grill. So the goal is to grill everything, chop it, put it in the flatbreads if you so desire that. And then to make a little wrap, a keto wrap. But we're gonna have to close the uh, grill at some point because these chicken is not gonna cook through. Put the grill open like that. So here's what I'm thinking. We'll put this on here. I'm gonna regulate the heat, or as Art would say. Regulators! Mount up. <laughs> How's the chicken look on the other side? Oh, it's getting color, look at that, Art. My favorite part is actually the wings. So actually, despite all the drama we've had so far today, we're in a pretty good spot. I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about where we're at in its economy and the here. There's a question here about ghee. Yes. Um, let's see if I can find the exact question, but I think it was, uh, hey, what's the best ghee out there and can I store it in the refrigerator to have a longer shelf life? Yes, you can store it in there. You don't really need to per se. There's two great ghees I love. One is the Thrive Market brand. So when you click my link down below for that promo, I would check out the Thrive Market one. The other one is Fourth and Heart from Texas. Fourth and Heart is fantastic. It's very expensive at the grocery store. It's cheaper on Thrive Market. It's grass fed, just like the Thrive Market brand, and it's great. All right, let's season this. A little bit of avocado oil spray and a little bit of salt. You wanna make sure ghee's grass fed but there is a difference in quality between the ghee at, say, like Aldi and the Thrive Market or the Fourth and Heart. I'm going to put some of that maybe on my chicken later on. It'll be really yummy. Okay, we're just going to close this now. Let's keep our eye on here. Make sure that nothing happens. We don't want any flare-ups, right? Ooh. Very, very important. So, all right, we'll come back here in a little bit. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. There she is. Hi. And mommy's back too. Hi, Rose. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> Come outside. Come on, Rose. Let's go. Come out here. All right, Rose is going to join the party. 
We got a few new people watching. We got, we got a, thousand a thousand people, people in the watching. house. If you haven't done so yet, this is Fridays with Flav, sponsored by Thrive Market. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey, we're outside. We're grilling and chilling. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. We had a little drama earlier with the chicken setting on fire, but now we're good. We're set. Andrew Adlin says, try turning off the burner directly under the chicken. Um, that, that grill's so small, Andrew, I don't want to do that because I think that's really going to impact the heat. I maybe could have done that on my grill. So I have six burners. By the way, look at the cutting board I broke out today. I got my backup booze here. This is the single width, 18 by 24, and it has a lot more surface area, which is lovely. Got Gee, Lily Ponce watching from Vegas. Welcome. Nice. Yeah, the 699 Gee. That Gee, to be honest, Parm, isn't quite as good. I don't have it out here as a Thrive Market or the Fourth and Heart. So what I want to do now is make the preserved lemon relish, which means I got to go inside for the first time today. So whoever's drinking out there, bottoms up for the first shot. Out in Wyoming, we got Roxanne. You don't have to put on the red light. Now let's taste this, by the way. Look how beautiful this is. Here. This is our Harissa dairy-free sour cream uh, herbed dipping sauce. So this is going to be uh, for the chicken later on. Ooh, Renee says, Art, is Bobby going to show the iced latte? Uh, no, because we drank it all. That was so good. We took the Laird Superfood. I made a strong batch the night before, served it over ice yesterday. It was so good. You know, you know how much I love that Laird. Rose Honey Bunny! Hello, sweetheart. Oh, welcome. Bobby, maybe uh, Rose can answer the super chat on your behalf. Four ninety nine from Amanda Esposito. Hey, Bobby and Art and Rose. Bobby, how do you, or Rose, how do you feel about date syrup? I think it's paleo. Thrive sent it as a free gift. Wow, that was one of the free gifts. That's really nice because it's expensive and it's one of the best paleo sweeteners around. That's really, really good stuff. Rachel Murray just came in with $25. Rachel. Jumped on the bandwagon of adding ghee to cooked meat. Added it to last night's yep. chicken and Wednesday beef kebabis. Amazing. Kebab nice, the kebabis. Because when meat is resting, if you put a spoonful of ghee on top, just a spoonful of ghee makes the meat go down, soaks into the meat when it's hot and open and receptive. In the most delightful way. Yeah. Oh, so I'll be right back. I'm going to get uh, another bowl. BRB. Rose, have we said hi to everyone? Rose. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. Say hi. We wave? Hello. <laughs> BRB, y'all. Let me check the Rose. chicken real quick. Yeah, Lisa, uh, ghee tastes very butterish because it's made from butter. It's just been uh, cooked until the water's gone and the milk solids have uh, turned the Chicken looks good, Art. It looks good. Oh, Thank here's you, Kara. Mom. Mommy. Hello. Rose has the timer. All right, Rose. I got something for you. Let's make some room uh, just right in front here. Right in front of her. Uh. Um. Yeah, can I see that? Thank you so much. Look, Rose, your favorite. Water game. Hello. That's right, Lisa. It's always Seinfeld. Nathan, uh, I think they're innate. Okay. Rose, everyone's saying hi to you, Rose. Can you wave? That's right. Oh, you missed a bit. The grill lit on fire again. It was a fireball and everything. We have to start using. Sing there some pitbull. And what's that? Sing some pitbull. <laughs> yeah, it's a fireball. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Right. So, um, yeah, I think this is over here. Yeah. Let's make art. What do you think of Master Sushi Chef so meeting Gordon Ramsay? Well, I think that would be interesting. Okay, perfect. Uh, sure. I think yeah. that would be interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right, Andrew. The NHL playoffs begin tomorrow, and I'm excited. Oh, you, Hockey yeah. in August. Who would have thought? <laughs> Ba -dun 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 -dun. Nice. Da dun 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 Very nice. Rose. Oh, there we go. Anything to say? To the Flav City fan? Mm. <laughs> she waved at y'all. Mm -hmm. Things are looking really good over there. We have some good heat control, finally. 
Okay, Russ, I need money. Uh, Bobby, have you walked by Wrigley during a game this year? No, no I season. haven't, but I want to. I want to see if they're showing it on the big screen outside, which I'll bet they're not. Uh, but I'll check it out. So, guys, these are preserved lemons. These are whole lemons packed in water and salt, and they sit there for a few weeks, maybe more, and the whole lemon is edible. I'm going to make a preserved lemon, extra virgin olive oil, and fresh herb relish to spoon all over that chicken. So check this out. Look at this, Rose. This is crazy. Ooh, Simply Grace, the Blues Brothers has to be on that list. Look at this. Wow. I just want to taste this. I don't know if it's my absolute favorite, Ooh, but wow. it's got to be on the list. That's salty and briny. That's delicious. This kind of pickling liquid, even after I was done with this, I would save. Just splashing the vinaigrettes, dressings, and sauces. I can smell that lemon from here, dude. Dude, it's really good. If you haven't tried to preserve lemon, get on it. Get on it. Uh, Motion Ali in the UK wants some pancake recipes. Um, tune in to Sunday morning at 10 o'clock when we do a breakfast with Bobby. And I'm going to show you my favorite paleo pancake mix and how to make it. So, all right, check this out. Go to Jang wants to know if you could do lemon pickles. See? It's 100% pickled oil, so you can eat if you want. You can eat the entire thing. You want to taste it? Try it. Let's see the face you make. How does it taste? It's salty and sour, right? Mm. I don't, I don't, good, I don't, think, I don't think Kara wants it, sister. Thank you for the offer, though. It's very, oh. wow, it's very Moroccan. Back in. What do you think? Is it good, Rose? Is it good? Oh my god, she likes it. <laughs> oh my god. Rose has the power. Touch the seeds on the Yeah, careful the seeds, Rose. Let me just get rid of the seeds real quick. See Rose? See the seeds right there? I'll take them out for you. But look at that. It's beautiful. Here you go, Rose. Let's Bobby, see. do you like organic habanero peppers? No, Bobby does not like that. <laughs> That's what they were fire. I just asked. I forgot to use them in the live stream or the um mm -hmm. the story the other day. I got them just for art. And then he put them on his uh, burrito. It was on Friday. It was a Friday. I forgot to use it for the live stream last Friday. Do you like it or no? And then Art used it, Thank and it you. was fire. I and I don't want to go into like detail, it. but the next morning he was feeling it too. If you catch my drift. I can't believe Rose likes that. It's such a sophisticated flavor. That's goofy, man. So now we'll take a bunch of herbs. This is the mint, the basil, and then I'll take some parsley. So think about this. Funky, sour, <laughs> and salty lemons, fresh herbs, and a bunch of really good EVOO over that, careful, Rose, over that grilled chicken. Ooh, Lordy. That's going to be delicioso. So look at this. We'll put that there. We'll take a little bit of salt. Watch the lot. knife. Not a lot because the lemons are salty. We'll add some pepper. Rose, you like the pepper? I like the pepper, Daddy. Okay, and then we'll add a good handful of parsley. Here's what I do, Rosie. I Hilda's the so happy. I roll it up like a cigar, Rosie. See that, how tight it is? And I take my knife and I run it through as many blades as possible. And then I'll take, this is like one of my standard EVOOs. It's not like a top shelf EVOO, but this is actually a cooking extra virgin olive oil or a finishing one. The California Ranch is really, really good. I'll cook with this or I'll cook with like the big extra virgin olive oil from like a Costco because it's not good enough in my opinion for like a finishing olive oil for something exquisite, but it is good enough for like a drizzle here and there or for cooking. Are there any foods Rose doesn't like? <sighs> you know, that's a really tough one. Um, I mean, she's not keen on all vegetables, but she's a, she's a real super trooper, to be honest. Be careful. Uh, you got a super chat here, Valeria Akimov, 999. You have no idea how much screenshots I have from Bobby Approved Products. Also, thank you to Love Desi it. for recommending the book Nutrition for Babies. I feel so confident in feeding my baby next month. Love it. First of all, congratulations to you for feeding your baby next month. Um, instead of screenshots, in case you haven't heard, coming later this year, probably December, is the Bobby Approved app. It'll have all the information from every video ever in an app. You can search by um, grocery store, by aisle, by meat, by seafood. But most importantly, it'll have a barcode scanner on there. So you can scan any product at the grocery store. It'll tell you if it's Bobby approved or not and give you related products that are maybe better or equally as good. 
So if you want to browse it and learn about best shopping or just scan away, that'll be great. So look at the relish here. Check that out. I'm gonna go check the chicken. That's gonna be beautiful. That would be great on steak, on chicken, on pork, anything. Even fish. All right, come over here, Rose. Things are looking. Oh, hey, Rose. Come over here, Artie. Let's take a look over here. Everyone comes over. Come on, Rose. Let's go. Right, Rose? Yeah. So check out our peppers here, Artie boy. We're getting nice color on there. So fun to watch Rose just walk everywhere and explore. Don't touch the grill, though. It's hot, though, sweetie. Check out the asparagus. Flowers. Nice color. See, guys, we're, we're rallying here. We're coming back. We started out low. We were getting beat by the grill. It was grill one, body zero. Now I'm coming back. Now it's equal. It's like one to one. It was chicken one, grill zero. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to put this back on the skin side here. Look at that. We got some nice color there, right? You can do what you want to do. Uh, uh. And live in color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose. Mm. Right, Rose? You walk off the balloon floating like a balloon. You say it's never too late and it's never too soon. Right, Rose? You don't know that one, do you? Okay, so lid back down. We'll go back to our side. This part of the show brought to you by inefficiency. <laughs> And how would you feel if y'all break it down obsolete and all man time dances to the exact same beat? And what would you say if I walked down the street? Art. I'm just, uh, I don't know. In living color. <laughs> you can do what you want to do. Uh, uh. 1,200 people are watching me make a fool of myself if you haven't done so yet. Hello. Welcome to Fridays with Flav. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Check out Thrive Market. I can't talk enough good things about Thrive Market. If you're not a member, I want you to click on the link right here. I'll check it out below the video. Thrive Market has all your favorite stuff a Whole Foods would have, but for cheaper. And when you sign up using my link, you get a free gift up to $22. Right now, one of the free gifts is grass-fed Chomps beef sticks. And here's the best deal. In addition to all your groceries coming to your door, if you don't like Thrive Market after 30 days, cancel. Get your membership fee back, but keep the free gift. It's risk-free. I've been using them now for four years. They've been sponsoring the channel for four years. It's great. <laughs> oh, Spielberg is very observant. Tell me. You're not subscribed yourself. I'm not? Your iPad. You're not subscribed. Oh, no, I'm not signed in. I'm not signed in. That's You're ruining right. the joke. No, no, no. I'm not signed in. <laughs> uh, Susan Rapp, Art, if you love spicy, try Scrappy's Firewater Bitters with habanero peppers. Amazing with my ginger juice mocktail or spicy margaritas. Dang, girl. That sounds, uh, that sounds really good. Kind of dangerous. Now, these, my friends, are one of my favorite things. These are keto cauliflower crusts. They say they're for pizza. I don't think they make a good pizza. You know, I normally use the sandwich thins to make uh, sandwiches for Art and I, but these are great because look at the ingredients. Read this, Art. I'm going to move Rose's up. water thing here. The ingredients in that are fantastic. Oh, I never learned to read. Made with real cauliflower, made with a little bit of nutritional yeast. The heck Is there I'm Parmesan gonna... cheese too in there? Hang on, i got to use my one of yours. My uh, eyes. <laughs> I think there's Parmesan cheese in there. Oh, I'm just trying to see where the ingredients are. No oil, fresh it's, cauliflower. It's all it's really like good stuff. dripping water. Where is it Amy. coming from? Is it from Rose? Yeah, it's oh, from okay. her thing. Amy, $5 you. holler thoughts on Whole30 Diet. I actually found your channel through doing my first Whole30 a few years ago. Listen, I think Whole30 is, it's good. It's good to get started on like a reset and a clean eating. But after those 30 days, I think it's important to know what resonates with your body and what works best. After that, I would really say, hey, I would really stick to a keto paleo diet. I wouldn't go Whole30 all the time, even though it mostly is keto and paleo. It's not something that's a lifestyle. It's more like I'm going to reset my body and then realize, okay, gluten is intolerant for me. Dairy doesn't make me feel the best. It's great to get you on the right path. But after that, do keto, paleo, know exactly what goes in your body. And then, hey, if you try some dairy via sauce and you're like, I don't feel great, stop eating dairy, which is not a big deal because I used the cashew dairy. I just threw it away, but here. This is what you want to use. If you want plant-based, look at that art. There's so many options now on Thrive Market and Whole Foods. This is organic plant-based cashew uh, sour cream with best-in-class ingredients. So what is this here, Art? This is that 
combined with my harissa paste, which is the North African chili paste here. But it's not really that spicy. More importantly, look, it's extra virgin olive oil, red peppers, here? red chilies, garlic, fantastic flavors. And then this is keto, paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, extra virgin olive oil, mint, parsley, basil, and preserved lemons with salt and pepper. This is keto. It's not paleo because there is a touch of Parmesan cheese, but Parmesan cheese is an aged cheese that has no lactose. This is the kind of food that's low inflammatory, low carb. It's going to make you feel great. So what you were just saying about Whole30, was that in response to a super chat? Oh, yes. I just want to make sure it got read. Yes, Jill Chopsky came in with um, $20 going to make going to make Desi's keto crackers. So the, so the sunflower seeds need to be organic or not? No, they don't. Very good question, uh, Jill. Those are great. Thanks for Say that super hi, chat. Rose. Take a look at Rose and Desi. Hi, Rose. Hi, cutie. Hey, Rose. Hey, Rose, we have a question for you. Rose. Hey, Rose, where's your tongue? <laughs> hey, good. Very good. Hey, Rose. Got another question for you. I'm a gorilla and I pound my chest. <laughs> Hey, Rose, I'm a monkey, and I wave my arms. <laughs> I'm a monkey, and I wave my arms, Rose. <laughs> Very good, Rose. Oh, you're too funny. All right, we're sitting pretty now. Condiments are done. Uh, this is on standby. Let's go back to the grill. Uh, go to Jang says you should have the app also pull up two to three Flav City recipes when people scan products. Oh, yeah, we'll get there too. Absolutely. Hey, Desi, eventually is our app going to pull up suggested recipes too? <laughs> My love bug. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. Hey, so, Rose, Milwaukee Brewer wants to know where's your lateral collateral ligament? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's what you get for asking that question. <laughs> sure knows the MCL. Milwaukee okay. Brewer. Veggies come off. So the app is going to be your ultimate shopping companion because first of all, it'll tell you if something's Bobby approved, but I don't want you relying just on me. I want you to learn. So it's going to have an explore section with all the information I've ever made on YouTube videos and whatnot will be on there. So if you want to search about dairy, about crackers, about bread, about meat, it's all going to be on the app. It'll tell you what to look for, which brands and products are generally Bobby approved. And then if you want to scan something here and there, It'll tell you, Bobby approved or not, and why. So you learn and learn and learn. It'll work at Costco, Aldi, Thrive Market, everywhere. Does it have anything about like which of those crackers would be best in a briefcase? I don't know if it's going to have a briefcase related uh, information like that. Arthur. Okay. Okay, look what's going on. Because people hey, want to know how to bring their I'm crackers back. to work. I'm back. Look at this. This skin is looking gorgeous. We only have that one little area. That's nothing. We're back in action, Art. So I'm going to put this back right here and close the grill and we'll take this back over here. I totally redeemed myself, y'all. Oh, we still got about 20 something odd minutes. We had that big delay. Hey, Rose, I'm a donkey and I kick my leg. <laughs> hey, Rose. <laughs> Yeah, you're doing it. Good job. I'll do an easier one. <laughs> What's the difference between the red Bobby approved stickers and the white ones in your Nothing. videos? Rosie, I'm an elephant and I stomp my feet. <laughs> you're so good, Rose. No, I stopped using the white one because they were confusing people. So I just stick to the red one now. So. Let me just show you how good this kind of grub is. So I'll take a little bit of the uh, spare guy. I'll do what I call Ned Starking them, just popping off the head here. I'll dip it in my Harissa dairy-free sauce here. Absolutely delicious. That is so good. So what I'm going to do is just roughly chop this, put it on the side. Here, what about the uh, skillet cookie? We got to do it. Can I do it on the grill, do you think, or no? Tough call, right? I don't know. It's going to take a while. So we have some leftover five-ingredient chocolate chip cookie dough. Art had the idea of putting it in a, mil in a midi skillet and cooking it. But do you think I can, I mean, I'm not doing very well on the grill today, but do you think maybe I can bake it on the grill? Well. Amazing, right? I know two things. 
a la mode with sugar-free, dairy-free ice cream. Anna Simpson just came in with a $5 super chat Anna. and asks, are those wraps shelf-stable or do they have to be refrigerated? Refrigerated, my okay. dude. Crypto. Do they have to bake it on the uh, grill, Dusty? Yeah, let's, let's do it, you guys. Crypto Morpheus, $5, made a salad with Power Greens, Primal Kitchen's avocado Ooh. ranch dressing, and Forager chips for a topping equals crowd pleaser. $5 for Rose's crypto portfolio. That sounds good. Did you use the Finley, uh, have, chips I was talking about? Finley, I have not watched Got. Art hasn't watched anything. If you think Art has watched something, there's a 99% chance he hasn't seen it. No and fact. Lindsay Bromley, just 499, have... just saying hi. Thank you, Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay, great to see you. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. So, guys, keep checking in down below. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm going to go inside and get the mini, mini. skillet. We're going to throw it on the grill. It's going to work one way, one way or another. I posted the recipe for Desi's five ingredient chocolate chip cookies that's going to be in the new cookbook uh, on Instagram stories last night. So make sure to get that before it uh, disappears. Madeline's excited because you're going inside. <laughs> that's only the second time, Maddie. Only the second time. Rose Honey Bunny Parish. Okay, I'm going to go inside. What else do I need? The cookie dough. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Pam asks, uh, $4.99, what's your iPad stand called? I don't know it's the one that comes Apple sold it. What's that called there? I don't know. I think they used to call it a magic case or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it's pretty handy. Rose wants some attention. Hi Rose. Hey Rose. Hey Rose, another question. I'm a crocodile and I wiggle my hips. <laughs> Good job, Rosie. Oh, go to Jang says bourbon drizzle chocolate chip cookies. Oh bourbon. Bourbon drizzle. How about just a bourbon shot on the side? I just want more up my alley. All right, I'll be back. Oh, that's a shame. All right. This is the part of the show where I try to kill time. And I usually fail at that, too. I think that's Apple Smart Cover. Yeah, that's what I think it's called. But the thing about those is, um, like, once they replace the iPad, they don't make those anymore, especially if they change the uh, dimensions of the iPad or the way it attaches. So I've got an iPad that I probably would like to buy the official Apple case and out of luck. Michelle Denman. Denman, hello to you as well. Let's see here. Yeah. Skin is shiny right now in the sun. You can see that very well. Hello, Madeline. Art, what happened to the backyard? All the grass got replaced with weeds. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. My top five movies. Uh, I have top two. My two favorite movies, but they're both tied in the one position, are... Uh, the Big Lebowski and Inglorious Bastards. I don't know beyond that. So is that uh, the ones? Those are both the one spot. So I guess I need four more movies. All right, watch for All Mankind on Apple TV Plus. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> Joseph Finley, do you know who you resemble? Nobody said it yet. I think somebody's about to. The longer I talk, they uh, start to answer your own question or whatever. Art, are you related to Bobby? I'm not. Brothers from other mothers, right? Okie dokie. So, Friends since late high school, 20 some years. Okay, back to Bobby. What do you think? There we go. The Good to check. thickness or the width or the girth of this cookie has to be our. What do you think? Like, do I have to push it out so it's a bit thinner? Never done this before. Traditionally, yeah, you'd spread it out, but in the absence of more dough. Right. We don't have more dough. It might not this. be bad to leave it like that. That's what I'd I'm thinking. Say. Yeah. Like, First of all, it's very, very cold right now, but... Yeah, it fractures. Yeah, something like this. Let it warm up a few minutes. Wow. Simply Grace said that I resemble Peter Cetera. What? Who is that? I've never... Yes, Finley, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That's a new one. The third one's not. Let's put this on the griller. Come over here. We ain't got time to wait. Uh, Victoria Wickoff wants to know... Vic! What can I use in... Wait. Hey, Rose. Careful. What are you doing? Look, Russ. Chocolate chip cookie skillet. Ooh. Okay, I'm a little confused by this one because I haven't seen any chocolate chip cookie recipes that uh, include this ingredient. But the question is, what can I use for chocolate chip cookies in place of cream of tartar? Um. Ooh. I don't think she's don't saying this. Re she's not saying for this recipe, but I guess she's got. No, Vic, you never need to use cream of tartar on chocolate chip cookie dough. Can we get a real beauty shot of this chicken? Because I think I've totally redeemed myself. Look at that color on this bird. This is getting prop to the earth. Oh, Anna, I know who Peter Cetera is. I just don't 
think. No, I don't know who that is. You don't know? No, who's that? He was in Chicago. He was in Chicago what? The band, Chicago. Oh, I don't know that band. Now I'm gonna get some Chicago stuck in my head. Okay, now, how do we know the chicken's done? How do we make sure you don't overcook it? How do I make sure you don't undercook it? You gotta use the probe thermometer. So check it out, Art. Uh, Victoria, it's not from the uh, The first thing I'm gonna do recipe. is put it directly into the breast, into the, the deepest part of the breast, and I wanna see where we're at. Wow, we're actually looking pretty good there. According to this, we're basically done. 160 is done. But what's the thigh temperature? Yeah, this is gonna overcook anything above over 160, but it's also gonna carry over cook. So, that looks good. Let's see the thigh temperature. I'll put that right. The thickest part of the thigh. Milwaukee Brewer, $2. Which cast iron pan are you using? Well, this looks like a lodge. Yeah, that's a lodger. Oh, it was for bread. So the bread recipe had cream of tartar. Oh, interesting. Which iron? The thighs are at 169 too. Are Look at that. Wow. Check the other one. Right here? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's red blood coming out of there. It's not done. Oh, interesting. I don't understand why these temperatures are so screwy. Don't put it too deep either, because I think the tip of it is kind of the, the gauge. You think so? Yeah, I don't think it's done. It's so weird. It's coming out to 160 some odd. Hmm. It feels really good. That's the weird thing. How tight is it? Like if you move the leg, does it... Uh... I mean, it's pretty tight. I don't want to have raw chicken, but it you is... If it's tight, it's probably not done. It comes to well, loosens up with more. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Stangman says no way done. I agree. Yeah, I don't know why you would uh, register that temperature. It's super strange. inaccurate location. Well, There's the breast red blood, blood coming right out of there. Yeah, very weird. It was for the cloud bread. Oh, but oh. That, that's just to beat the egg whites so they get stiff. It's not necessary, but you really have to beat the egg whites so they get nice and stiff. Look, this is so weird. 25, oh, six, two, it's still five, showing. Let me show you. Ah, uh, Rachel Murray, $25. Rachie. Bobby, make Desi's caramel sauce over the cookie and ice cream. You can make the sauce on the grill and give it a nice smoky flavor. That then you take, would have to go back inside. Yeah, that would take a good uh, 45 minutes to an hour. This is so weird. I'm getting readings everywhere. This is 190. So weird. Look at this. I'm going to go right. It's, it's coming out red, too. Hmm. Yeah. Not done. I, I, yeah, I don't. It kind of bogs me that uh, I can't rely on the temperature. Very, very strange. Hmm. Yeah, Stangman says that's not a grill probe. Get the handheld probe, Bobby. Uh, I don't have that, but what's the difference? It still goes in? I don't trust this kind for that purpose. No, no. If something goes into a meat and you get the temperature, leaving it in there may be different. But to be honest, I left it in there uh, last Sunday and it worked fine. Regardless, it went in. That's the accurate temperature. So I don't know. That's very, very strange. Hmm. Coffee pot. I I don't have an extensive vinyl collection. Um, I've Let me got open the, these guys. The Chipmunks Christmas record <laughs> from my childhood. Oh, get, uh... And then uh, I think I've gotten a few U2 records over the years, but I'm not really a record player. So. Oh, I know she did. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen girl in the house. Hello, Victoria. You can use a tiny bit of lemon juice in place of tartar. Are you a John Prine fan? I don't know John Prine. John. Victoria Wickoff, five dollars. Love live chats and all the great info. Thanks so much. Too, this is the beauty of live streams. We can crowdsource ideas. We can talk to one another. When you make the recorded videos, they're not nearly as fun. It's just Art and I schmucking around in the kitchen. Emphasis on the schmucking. Yeah, lots of schmucking. We're still schmucking around. I didn't here. know that was a verb, but I like it. It is not. All right, let's let it do its thing. What about schmohawking? Yeah, we do that too. We do a lot of small hockey. I was never in a hair band nation, so, but I should have So, let's just been. recap. We have oh, our beautiful dairy-free harissa sour cream here. Harissa, cashew, sour cream, tons of herbs, salt and pepper. We have our preserved lemon uh, relish here. And then we have all those grilled vegetables that are uh, tricolor organic peppers and asparagus. Desi, you got to try something so interesting. So, this is the preserved lemon here. Rose, oh, yeah, was, Rose was actually eating it by herself. No, no, she wow. very oh my God. Presley, Presley Marie is in Vero Beach getting ready for a hurricane. Oh, that's right. I heard that's coming. I don't coming. like the sound of that. Good luck to you. I heard that's coming. Stay we well. Stay a, safe. We don't need a natural disaster right now. Right, can you have me the knife that's on that sheet tray yonder? Oh, here it is. That's a pepper. Oh, I forgot to put that pepper on the grill. I better... <laughs> 
was wondering. Let's show that sound like we all Good morning from Brisbane, Australia. Allison in the house. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. In the house. Had such a great time in Australia about a year and a half ago before Rosie was born. Well, I was careful. So check this out. This is a whole lemon. Put in water. Or is this a pepper? Like a it's going to be spicy. Check this out, Dad. Look at this. The whole thing's edible. 1,300 the watching. Thing? The whole thing. Try that. Mm. Bobby, what's the most exotic food you've tried? Exotic? Mm. Exotic. You ever Pre had an ostrich burger? Yeah, for a mm. Preserved lemon, maybe? Oh. Isn't that crazy? But in a salsa. Tried soup in Bulgaria. That's what's more Ooh, like. Be careful that wine. <laughs> tried soup in Bulgaria? Hey, Bobby, grab that wine bottle. I did have tripe soup in Bulgaria. Rose, look at Rose getting all that beautiful uh, Celtic sea salt there. Wow. Have you ever had kangaroo? Um, can't say I've had the roux. I've had alligator. What about monkey brains? Uh, no, I haven't had monkey brains. Let's uh, throw that this from, uh, uh, Clue. What's that, Rose? The movie Clue? Uh, that's so She's eating salt. Spit it out. Salt. Here, Rose. Give her some water. I don't have any S, otherwise I give you some S, Rose, so you can wash it down with. I can't get Chicago songs out of my head now. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Let me put this extra pepper on the grill. I'm surprised I missed that. Peruvian guinea pig, you ever had that? Can't say I've had that either. It's very popular in Peru. In Peru? Yeah. I've never been there. Neither have I, but I know that. I also know that you haven't been there. Actually, I didn't. Let me grab the salt really But I quick. assumed. And you know I what happens that, when you assume? There's no way that cookie's going to bake Sometimes properly. you're right. I don't think that cookie's going to work in there. You ever had Rocky Mountain oysters? Yes, I have had that. Did it taste like chicken? Yeah. Well, well, okay, it's a cow ball, deep fried. Of course it's going to taste decent. I mean, come on. Right? A little bit of salt on here. And nothing's happening to the... Uh, the cookie, cookie needs an oven, like it needs to have the lid closed. Well, well, there's still plenty of time. This Ooh, is going to sea cool. urchin. I've had sea urchin. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Either am I. What's going on over there? Is she eating the red pepper? <laughs> Rose, you ate the red pepper? <laughs> oh yeah, Brielle, I've had rabbit. Oh my god, rabbit. Nomura was telling her not to eat it. Rose, orchard. put the red jalapeno. Hey, Christine. <laughs> Thank you for letting me use the grill. Ours got a big fireball. <laughs> hey, you just got a uh, super chat from Mars V. Five dollars. Hey, Art and Bobby, like, back in your. You're going to like this question, I guarantee it. Tell me. Back in your younger days, have you ever drank a 40 ounce? Uh, never a full one. Art and I always have a joke about 40s, but... We've yeah. never finished them. Yes. Let's everyone That's thank Christine, much. my neighbor, for letting us use the grill. Thank you, Christine. Ours thank erupted you. into a big fireball of uh, fat on the bottom, so... Yeah, it was not, it was not a good scene. Yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, have you had conch? Um, I think I've had conch when I was in the Caribbean. It's just, it's, it was okay. Finley used to do a 64 ounce of Old English and then Colt 45. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. All right. Yeah, Christine, uh, fans are saying thank you. <laughs> All the fans are thanking you, Christine. Thank you. And that Wally is very cute. How old is Wally now, they want to know? He's six months old. Wally is six months oh old. God, he's huge. He's huge. Still looks like a puppy. That's right. Oh, coffee pot. Favorite stick song. Anybody? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. I don't really know their portfolio that well. Look at Rose's shoes. They're so flashy, Rose. Their catalog, I should say. Uh, we got to warm up the matcha also. Toss it on the stove. The grill's full. Right, Rosie? Mr. Roboto, I know that one. That's probably my favorite one. Rosington Posington. What's the one that turned that Tomo out? Tomo arigato, Mr. Roboto, Tomo. Oh, yeah, Rose. Tomo. Oh. Rose, I'm a penguin, and I turn my head. Tomo arigato, <laughs> Mr. Roboto, What's the one that turns that way? Tomo. Rose, I'm a giraffe, and I bend my neck. <laughs> you keep eating that salt, Rose. Salty what claps their hand? Which one is that? That's Renegade's a, a good one oh. too, Andrew. Rose, I like that song. I'm a seal and I clap my hands. I'm a seal, Rose, and I clap my hands. You're eating the red jalapeno. Wow! 
Taking off their Uncle you're, you're crazy, bro. That's so spicy. So spicy. Rose just wants to eat everything. She's oh, she's curious about everything. Here. What's up? Uh... Bobby, oh. you just got a super chat here. Brenda Tilton, $20. Thank you all for the wisdom you share. My daughter and I started keto two weeks ago. Oh, Flav nice. City has been super helpful. I made a $400 order on Thrive Market to help her journey. Much love. Awesome. Stay on it. You're gonna, now she's eating the preserved lemon again. Look, you're going to lose the weight. You're going to feel great. Keto, pure keto is like the weight killer, the diabetes killer, the cancer killer. It's unbelievable. I can't believe you're loving it. The preserved lemon, that's unbelievable, Rose. A salted, cured lemon. This is really unbelievable. How funny is this thumbnail it's here? opening her are... palate now. Yeah, that's right. That's dirty now, Rose. Let's put it in the garbage. What is the side dish today? Well, funny that you ask. Funny you ask. So Grilled vegetables. Yeah, we got grilled veggies. It's all right over there. Got some two beautiful sauce. It's very, very easy stuff. It's have just you taking ever, a bit longer because of the uh, grill fire. Have you ever done an episode where you make healthier versions of southern foods? Um, not really. I've done a keto uh, shrimp and grits before. Oh, look at that. Nice color on the uh, cauliflower wrap. These are great. They call this one the pizza crust, but I don't think you can really make pizza with it. But it's nice to make a wrap with it. Right? Like as we go, Oregon. Welcome. I'll probably use a cleaner tongue. To Do you those. miss potatoes? Uh, well, we have sweet potatoes because we do paleo. Rose. Every once in a while. Oh, nice. Rose is cleaning. We'll do like, I'll do like fry, oven baked fries every once in a while. There's something about that white starch that's very addictive. I'd much rather have sweet potatoes. They're I don't think keto, you can call those potatoes pale. though. Like what? they're sweet potatoes. Everything else is like potato. It's kind of like cheddar and white cheddar. <laughs> well, potatoes is in the name to be fair. So is cheddar. <laughs> It, it technically is cheddar. I mean, they're great. I mean, is it a potato? Like a white potato, russet potato? No. Don't get me wrong. I like sweet potatoes. Yeah, no, they're great. I love potatoes. them. Potatoes. I love them. You should make a video at an Asian supermarket. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests for that. I need to brush up on my Asian ingredients. This chicken's looking really, really good. <laughs> Cryptomorpheus says, Art, the thumbnail should be Bobby in front of the three-foot flames. That'll reel them in. The more the merrier. Yeah. I should do a post where it's like the flame that I'm like... Uh, like this. That'd be hilarious. Bok choy. DJ baby bok choy. Exactly. exactly. Well, this, these look so good. Wow. So I don't know what we're going to do about this chicken because we can't trust the thermometer here, obviously. I mean, it looks really good. I'm going to say it should be done very, very soon. Now, here's the deal. What do you do when, look here, right, I'm going to stab the breast here into the deepest part, making sure I don't touch the bone. And let's see where we're at here. I mean, look, we're over... But, I mean, according to this, we're at 180 some odd. That's way overcooked. What about the thigh? So I'll go right into the thigh here. The thigh always wins. Okay, I'm not touching any cartilage or anything. 197? There's no way it's 200 degrees here. Unless this probe is jacked. I could get a second one just to be safe. But look, if I take it out now, juices, they're running clear now. My only hesitancy is I take it off and What's if I, going on there? What and color, if I what cut color it, is that it? juice? Where? Okay. From this angle here, I see a reflection of some juice there. I can't tell the color though. Oh, I don't know. That sounds like a, a song, Reflections <laughs> of Juice. I just don't want it to be raw in the middle when I, don't I take like it I like raw out. chicken. I mean, it feels really good, you guys. Feels good. What do you think? Let's vote. Yeah. Let's vote. Should I let it cook longer or should I take it off? I mean, according to this, it's done. It's actually overdone. I'm not too worried about that because there's so many bones in here. But um, what do you all think? This is quite the quandary because when I did this on Sunday, it worked. It was exactly 155 degrees when I took it off. So I don't know what to say. So much to say. Stangman's so. is longer. Ugh. Stangman uh, is killing me. A lot of folks are saying take it off. Right. Now, would they say it like Homer Simpson? Take, Take it off! <laughs> Actually, Grandpa Simpson, wasn't it? Let's see here. I don't know. Maybe it was Homer. Finley says pull it. Jennifer Baker says take it off. You know what we can do just to be safe? Velvet says get the other probe. It's kind of taboo. Let's just get a knife and kind of cut in there and see. I mean, I hate to do that, but... Should we put the lid down in the meantime or not? Yeah, go ahead. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right, so... Rose, go entertain our family. Loading up another episode here of Art Kills Time. 
this show interrupted by Rose. And Mars V, two dollars. Okay. Eat it raw, Klingon style. I don't want to eat raw chicken. I really don't <laughs> like raw chicken. It's Anastasia. What's up? <laughs> Peter Cetera cameo Spielberg. <laughs> Not as exciting as the Dyson Rose, but it'll do. Cooking with Bobby and cleaning with Rose. <laughs> Rosie, the sweet. Okay, this is generally taboo, but at this point, it's like, do I want to have raw chicken? No. So, all right, come in here. I'm gonna go right into the meat here. All right. Let's just see what's going on here. That's cooked. That's the bone right there. That's cooked. Looks good. It's coming off. We did it. We busted it. Busted stuff, Art. Sounds now, like a DMV oven. Since the chicken's off art, should I cut into it now while it's hot and juicy, or what should I do? It may be taboo, but do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking every other rule, right? What's the general rule, Art? Wait. Why? Juices. Juices. It's like a steak. If I cut into that now, I've already, I've already punctured an area of there, so juices are actually coming out of here right now, which is not ideal. But by resting the steak a little bit, or the, the chicken a little bit, you're actually going to let the juices redistribute. Oh, Rachel oh, Murray says Bobby has to go back in for the ghee. Look at the chicken. <laughs> no, Rachel, let me show you what I'm going to do, actually. So come back over here. Check it out, Rosie. First of all, let's use the natural light here. Let's just enjoy the beauty of this chicken. We got off to a very rocky start. The flames were shooting up like Lucifer's Inferno, right? We got a little singy, singy there. But I think we recovered pretty well. Desi, what do you think of that, that uh, chicken? Amazing. I want the I want the burnt part. Let's go warm I up actually would like that part too, but I'll give you the cancer. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I want to do. We could go in. Hey, Desi, hand me that uh, Thrive Market gear. No, no, no. Bobby should go in and get it. <laughs> here's what I want to do. I want to. Yeah, you want to wait. It's very important for a chicken like this to let it rest for a good 10 to 15 minutes, which means we'll just do a bunch of Q&A, me and Art. But look, we have a preserved lemon. Oh, oh water on the couch. From what? The sprinklers. Oh. Uh, huge squeeze of lemon over that chicken says go, uh, gochujang. I got a better idea, Brad. How about preserved lemon, salt, pepper, mint, basil, parsley, and EVOO to seep into the chicken while it's hot? Why is that important? Because it's hot. The pores are open. It's vulnerable. It's receptive. So check this out, Art. I'm going to spoon this all over here and just let it suck it up, suck it up while it's resting. It adds some moisture. Let's go to the triage part here. This is the part where, right over here, where I kind of puncture in its lung. Oh. Okay, I put that there. Now, Desi's coming that with sounds the... Sounds violent. Desi's coming with the back up here. Now, y'all were talking about ghee earlier. When you click on my link for Thrive Market, this is what I want you to get. One of the things. This is the Thrive Market Organic Grass-Fed Ghee. For my money, this is the best ghee on the market. It tastes like movie theater Watch butter. Out. Now, Rose, check out what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take the ghee. Look at that. I'm just going to put it all over the chicken. Let me wash your hands and you can eat. Let it melt in there. That's right, Alan. The crispy part looks awesome. Come here. This is, this is sex to the E. Rose, this is sexy grub. This is so hungry. <laughs> Give her some of the cauliflower. It's fine. Okay, eat. Eat, Rose. Eat, eat. Your skin and bones. Here. Here, Russ, here's what I'm going to do for you. Pop it. Yeah. Eat that. How about I dip it in some uh, Harissa yogurt for you? Does that sound good? Uh, give me one of those wet... There you go, my dear. So that'll rest. Let's put that over yeah, here. If, if Desi went inside for Bobby, it still counts. It does count. I agree 100%. Y'all got a drink. Does the cookie get D2? <laughs> oh, let's not forget about the cookie. Someone please remind me to check it in 10 minutes or so. So let's put that there. You close the lid, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, Art, once again, let's just look at this. It's sitting on... Oh, look at the ghee, Art. Look. OM ghee. The ghee... Move it's melting. Tong. Move the tongs. Look at that. The ghee is melting. It's going everywhere. Now, it's also infusing into the vegetables. I'm going to make a moat of vegetables. So we're getting a very symbiotic relationship. Chicken's resting. Juices are going down there, flavoring our veggies. Also flavoring it is the preserved lemon relish and all that yummy ghee. This is gonna be one of the best chickens I've ever had probably. 
We're Thanks, also Tyler. I'm good. How about you? Going to use some of this leftover wrap that Rose hasn't mangled here to wrap up the uh, cauliflower or wrap up the chicken. Be careful of the tongue, Rose. This is fantastic. Rose, have a more of this. Keto, low carb. Now, Art and I did try the um, Trader Joe's version of this uh, yesterday. Just, just as good. Maybe not quite as high quality ingredients, but very, very high quality. Here you go, sweetie. That was good. Now let's, uh, where'd my knife go? Oh, over there. Let's chop the uh, broccoli and the gnawed uh, pepper that Rose was gnawing. Uh, by the way, cheers. Friday night, our first but not last live stream of the week because Art and I were working very hard this week with Desi and the cookbook, calculating macros, working on the manuscript. We're just about done. Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, mark your calendars. We're doing brunch at Bobby's. We're going to make a keto paleo breakfast, pancakes, frittata, a little coffee. It's going to be a lot of and fun. And cheers to all of you who recognize that Desi went in again. And go Jujang. I think we're going to be in our pajamas. So he's finally going to get his wish. Finally. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Hey, you do whatever you want, of course. If you want to do it's not for me, but. Because I. Oh, that's gross, Rose. Hey, no one's going to tell you what to do, Rose, right? If Rose is like, Daddy, I want pineapple on my pizza, we're going to do it, right, Rose, honey? Because it's all about you, Rose. Remember, you be you. Me, e, e. Yeah, that's right. Me, e, e. Exactly, Rose. You be you. Don't let anyone ever tell Once you Once a year, otherwise, no. What, Alan, girl, the, pe the pineapple pizza? Once okay. a, is there like any particular time of year that you do the mm -hmm. pizza? Mm -hmm. Or just to uh, mm. give it a spot in the rotation. Love this girl so much. So, a relatively easy dinner menu. Made a little more challenging tonight by the grill fire. But you just throw the chicken on, you throw the veggie on, you make no mess in the kitchen, and you make no heat in the kitchen, right? So you're not adding any heat on a hot summer day, right, Rose? Mwah. What can I bring plates? Um, right now, you can bring, yeah, bring out uh, all the plates and silverware and knives. And, uh, do yeah, we, whatever. Do we need foil on the chicken? The ghee's not melting. Bring us some foil too. It's some tin, some aluminium foil. Ah, rotation-wise. Okay, rose, I get it. Rose, honey, rose, honey, bunny. Yeah, Hawaiian pizza is not terrible. It's just not going to be something that you hear me order. Wow, we got a super chat from Avinash Kata, fifty dollars. Whoa! Thank you very much for everything you do. When I first started watching your channel, I was surprised as to how much unhealthy stuff I've been eating. We as a family are, have benefited so much by watching your videos. Thanks again. Avinash, thank you. Avinash, dude. Yeah, so that's what our channel is all about. First of all, thank you for that generous super chat. It's about making you aware of what you put in your body. You might think, hey, I'm doing pretty well. But then when you learn about products and ingredients, you're like, wow, I can do better. So it's never going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to let you know what's in the products you're eating every day. Welcome, Chandra. Better late than never, right? Whoa. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Finley says, cover that chicken or the bumpus hounds will invade. <laughs> Rose, we need some of these for our flatbreads here. Rose is going to eat all the, uh, <clears throat> all the flatbread. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, thank you, Rose. Jesse. I've got 1,450 people watching right now. Uh, last call to check out Thrive Market, a four-year sponsor of this channel. <clears throat> the only way my channel... Uh, continues to <coughs> be supported by great sponsors like Thrive Market. So check out the uh, promo code down below. You get a free gift with your first order. One of the gifts is grass-fed chomps. They've been with us for four years. They are great. Support us by supporting our awesome sponsors like Thrive Market. Uh, Debbie O <coughs> says cookie. Um, I think oh it's, my God. No, I think it's way too soon for that. Let's go check oh, it out. Oh, my God. Rose is crushing Thank you, Finley. I've seen Christmas Day, but I didn't <coughs> get the check reference. it out, Debbie? Look at Rose. I wouldn't know. All right, I'll go check it out. Let's, you guys stay here. Bobby, have <clears> you <throat> ever been to Lebanon? Lebanon's in the house? Have you ever been there? Oh, no, but I hear it has the best food in the world. Oh, Watch Rose eating that. Day. Watch Rose eating that thing. Yeah, I really want to go there. I agree. Uh, Alan, girl, the uh, it wasn't VBA. And um, there was a lot of manual... Like, it wasn't very automated, but the spreadsheet took out, like, the possibility of error. 
All right, the cookie's actually looking pretty good. It's still like a good five, 10 minutes out, but it's looking good. Maybe I'll pump up the heat just a little bit. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance, dance. <laughs> Have you heard of Pasha, Pasha chocolate? P-A-F-C-H-A. Um, I'm not sure. I've heard of a club in Barcelona, Barcelona called Pacha. So actually, uh, but that's not what you asked about. I filmed the video today at uh, the grocery store about, um, it was a complete diabetics grocery store guide. And uh, there's some really good diabetic chocolate. So dark chocolate is actually surprisingly high in fiber, which is great for diabetics. Um, but you have to be careful of the sugar. So one of the pitfalls about dark chocolate is that to be legally carved dark chocolate, the cocoa percentage has to be 55% or higher. So you'll see something that says 55% cocoa dark chocolate. Well, yeah, technically, legally, it's uh, dark chocolate, but it still has a ton of sugar in there. You want to go for something 85% or higher, then the sugar is low and the fiber is actually... You know, you know that kind of reminds me on, uh, hmm. on Office Space when uh, Jennifer Aniston wants to wear the minimum amount of flair and her boss asks, well, do you just want to wear the minimum flair? Oh, yes. Yes. Great points. So there's actually two even better options than you're getting straight up dark chocolate. You can get like a Lily's Stevia sweetened chocolate Careful. or um, Evolved. Eating Evolved makes this keto nut butter chocolate bar that is so delicious, almost has zero carbs and a lot of fiber. And it's a great way to get antioxidants and superfood benefits of chocolate without any added sugar. It's amazing. That's right. The restaurant was Chatch yeah. Keys. All right, look at this. We got. We have. We have official spillage of ghee there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Are you coming to LA anytime soon? Um, I'd like to. I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. But LA is way overdue. Wow, Jackie Adams. Beagle, forty nine ninety nine. High Flavor City family just joined. Happy Friday, happy cooking, mad love to you all, and sweet rose. Jackie, great to see you. Love it. Can I grill a whole chicken on a George Foreman grill? I'd say no, because a George Foreman grill is all about conductive heat. You're not getting the convection heat, so it won't cook through uh, all the way. So Michael no, Scott uh, grilled his foot in a George Foreman <laughs> grill. Can I cut some uh, chicken for us? Um, it's not quite ready yet, but. If you want to go off the side there, you can. Can I microwave a turkey? You can, but I wouldn't recommend yeah, it. Yeah, that, that sounds horrible, actually. I guess you can reheat keep, it once it's cooked. But. Keep checking in. Leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to see where everyone is. It's for you, Rose. Rose, Mommy's got some chicken for you. So I'm going to cut the chicken. Yeah, uh, that nutso chocolate spread, is it smooth or does it have grittiness? Uh, no, it's not smooth. It's got a lot of chunks and seeds Does it have in true grit? Uh, Rose, that's pure ghee she's eating there. It, it does. Oh, Rosie. What'd you do? <laughs> Just putting your hand Rosie. in the gate. Look, chicken. Chicken, mom. She knows the good stuff when she sees it. There you go. Mad love from Ireland. I want to go oh, there. Oh, nice. Come Ireland's Suela. Let me move Thank this you. chicken. Wow. Right, Very fixed in Colorado Springs. Look at Springs. Look at Welcome. Mm. It's time to cut the chicken. Just about. Adirondacks, yeah. upstate New York. Okay. Let's put the chicken hey. over here. Welcome. Rose is the chicken. Gochi Chang has to scoot. Just drove six hours back from North Carolina and got things to do. However, Flavor City took priority when I got home. Mad love. Oh, go Goju. Love to hear that. Welcome back. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you on Sunday morning for uh, breakfast with Bobby. In pajamas. In pajamas. You're finally going to get your wish. Rose, is the chicken good? Is it good? Your, Canadian, right. your Canadian fans want you to do a Canadian meal sometime. A Canadian meal? Yeah. What would that entail? I don't know. Would there have to be back bacon? Rose, Rose wants... Rose, eat the chicken, Mom. Eat the chicken, Rose. Save you, some... I'll give you more. Save some of that for us, Rosie. Man, I love you all, but you got to share. Sharing is caring, Rose. Okay, so here's P what we're going to do. Poutine and back bacon. There we go. Oh, poutine. No, poutine. We had poutine in uh, Montreal that time. Wasn't my favorite, to be honest. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one of these down here. I'm going to smear a little bit of Teresa sour cream there. <clears throat> And then I'm just going to serve up some vegetables oh, gosh. on the side here. Baby seals. <laughs> Terrible Finley. Finley's on a roll tonight, huh? Okay. I still have some more. Uh, oh, 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 oh no, no, no. That's daddy's wine sweet. <clears throat> okay, now here comes the fun part. 
I'm gonna take the chicken. Let's see how it looks through and through. So where's my knife? Here it is. We'll take the knife. We'll go straight through the backbone here. Okay. Okay, so there's half. Okay, look at this chicken breast. Right. Normally a chicken breast on its own is gonna be dry and sad. Look at this. We nailed it. Do you see the juice coming out there? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a gorgeous chicken breast that has the skin and the bone on. We'll just save that on the side. Now, this is possibly my favorite part here, right? The, the chicken yeah, wing. The I'm gonna take it off of there. This is my favorite thing to do. I make the meat umbrella. So I go like this, I push it down, all the meat falls to the tip here. Look at this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put a little bit of that chutney right in the pocket. It's been five minutes since you looked at the cookies. Cookies who? I'm all that chicken. Oh my God. That chicken is so perfect, but that, that um, preserved lemon on top, that is absolutely exquisite. Oh my God, that chicken is dynamite. All right, let's cut some more and then I'll go to that chicken. So here's what I want to do. Oh, look at this art. Look, look at the juice in there. You like the juice, sir? I like the juice. Oh my God. Rose needs some, right? So let's cut it off of there and then we'll cut it into the Rose, gonna give thigh piece. here. Oh, Art wanted that uh, really charred piece there. I'll save the skin for Uncle Fart there. Right, Rose? Look at that. Oh, oh. careful, Rose, careful. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it, shred it off of the bone. Wow, guys, we totally redeemed ourselves. Is this for Rose? Yeah. Here. There you go, Rose. <laughs> chucky, chucky, chucky. We totally just redeemed ourselves here. I'm gonna take the chicken along with that shredded Charred skin, Rose, put it right there. For you, Mama. Take it off of the bone. Here, eat, eat, you eat. don't have to eat it like this. You can leave it whole if you want. Look at the way the chicken just comes off that bone. Mm. Yummy. We'll chop it up. Put it right there. Mm. All right. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rose. Take a little more harissa. Put it on top. And then I'll take a little bit of this rose gnawed on red pepper. Oh, oh. Don't pull that. Don't pull the plug. <laughs> pull the plug like creamer. Look at this. You guys. Bon appetit is right. Oh, now you girl. can put the chicken Did drummy right finger? there. Come on, you guys. Preserved lemon relish, grilled spashcock, pasture raised chicken with grilled peppers, grilled asparagus, harissa yogurt, preserved lemon relish, and a cauliflower keto thin. We went through hell and high water for this meal. But it came through. So here's what I would do. I would just take it like this. Wrap it up, Rose. Oh, it's going to be messy. Oh, my God. What kind of yogurt did you get? The sour cream to get it free. Ooh. Oh, that's mine, Rosie. <laughs> oh, my God. The sabor. Think about this, Jesse. Oh, my God. I know it's amazing. The flavor. Everything is seasoned perfectly. Chicken is juicy and tender. It's acidic, it's spicy, it's fresh, it's Cookie, vicious. cookie. People right, are saying cookie. cookie. No, that is literally Check one of the best room. things you can eat this summer. That is insane. Get Desi's reaction. Mm. One. Desi, explain the flavor. Rosa, look. Oh, even Rosa's eating it. Look at Rosie go. Wow, Rose, you're an animal. I love it. Let's set the cookie, y'all. That is big high five. Come on, wind up. One. Two, three, boom! Right, let's see what's going on here. I got more peppers oh, on the shoot. grill, too. Something smoking. Oh, might be a little charred there. Oh, my. It might be a little overcooked. Did you have a burner right underneath it? Uh, it was on the lobe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> problem. I think, I think it burned. <laughs> okay. I like burnt chicken, but maybe not burnt <laughs> cookie. Let me get uh, something for the... Uh, yeah. Hey, Art can just whip up a new, a new batch. That's right. When you guys want to stay on live stream and watch Art make a new batch. Let us know right now. <laughs> hey, if anything's going to get burned, I'd rather have the cookie burned than my chicken. How about that? Get it out of the pan so it stops cooking. Yeah, where should I put it? That's the question. Oh, here, I'll put it right here. 
It might still be salvageable, to be honest. It could just be the edges. Here. I did it all for the cookie. The cookie. <laughs> Check it out. Thank you. Who said that? Brielle, thank you. Uh -oh. That's not going to do it. Hmm. Let me get a... Yeah. That's not going to do it either. I want your metal fish spatula. Yeah. Get in there and... Let's see. Flipperoo. I'm not going inside again. Let's just use... Yes, you a, are. People are thirsty. I'll just use... A, oh, it's hot. I can't touch it. There we go. Let's get a fork oh, on Oh, man. There. Smoke's coming out of the <laughs> Yeah, let's just put it right here. It's not too late. There. To flip it. Cookie's out. Mmm. You can smell that yeah, burnt looks. cookie goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> We'll see. I actually think it might be decent, to be 100% honest. All right, let me get my uh, peppers from over yonder. What are your thoughts on veganism? Um, I'm not for it. I'm all about eating a lot of vegetables, but not only eating vegetables, because science really shows, despite like these documentaries on Netflix, that over the long run, your body is not going to thrive only on plants. You really need... When I'm talking about meat, I'm talking about grass-fed, pasture-raised meat. I'm talking about wild-caught fish. I'm talking about, you know, the good stuff, not factory farm the crap. You don't get all the essential proteins and vitamins and minerals you need just from plants. That's June, my I opinion, will definitely and there's a lot the of cookie. science I don't care if it's that. burnt. I'm trying the cookie. Okay, we're done with this guy. Venison is deer meat, armchair guru. It's also quite good. It's all natural. You get it yourself. Okay. It's, coming it's not burnt cookie, it's Bosque cookie. Okay, Rose. Foxy Loxy says, let's leave the baking to Desi. <laughs> totally. Totally. I mean, listen, the civilized thing would have been, look at Rose's face. Let it go so long. You have to bake it. I mean, listen. I think the burner underneath it. Yeah, it's like. Burner on the stove? You done is that? It's like not salvageable in one piece. Oh, I'm still going to no, try no. it. It'll be salvageable. You can scrape the bottom off. It'll be salvageable. All right, let's play another thing here. I do like deer steaks, Nathaniel, but I haven't had deer in a long time. Look at this beautiful skin here. Jesse, mm -hmm. how does it taste, by the way? Oh, no. Fantastic, right? It's amazing. This is the kind of chicken you want to eat because, look, when you cut moose it, moose is really good too. I love moose. The breast like this. All right, check this out. You're not gonna have any dry meat at all. Check this out. Let me crack through the bone here. Hold on. There we go. Look at that meat. This breast meat is some of the juiciest breast meat you can get. So here, we're gonna take this. If you don't want to chop it up like. Uh, in that style, I would just do this. I shred this guy, put that there, and say, "Hey, you want to make your own DIY? That's cool. Take that, smear it on there. Keep it away from Rose because she's an animal. And then we'll take some of uh, the vegetables. Well, that chicken from you. Put it right down. All right, Rose. All right, a little bit of peppers. Let me bring you some food." Some Lindsay, no, I'm everything. These are the spicy ones. I like eat it all. I see food and I eat it. Okay, watch right? it for Look at one that. Second. Beautiful. One second. That's Rose, it. Stop. Isn't that gorgeous? Stop. Oh my god, Rose, no more salt. Let's move the salt away from her. Clean my hands here. I want Art to try that one. No. Everybody seems to want the same thing. <laughs> the salt away from Rose? They want Art to try it. Here, put that over yonder, Mama. Okay, Rose. Art, take a seat over yonder. First of all, look at Rose. She has Celtic sea salt in her hair, in her eyebrow. Can I see your hands, Rose? Ooh. Okay. Yes, more okay. food. Here's what we're going to do. Switch place with Art. Art's going to have this one. Look at that beautiful plate for Art. Oh, that beautiful bean pudding. 
me take one bite of this thing and uh, I'll grab the camera. Mmm. Mmm. Papa Mish? Mmm. Where is off the charts? I'm mixing some yogurt. Literally. Off the charts. Mmm. Stop acting that. Let's go. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. I put a little bit of this on there. Everyone's. I'll try a little bit. Brush it down. Can I put a little bit of cookie on top of it? <laughs> rose. Look at Rose is going after our going for more? Oh my job. Rose, look. You can I do not here, uh, recommend that, Rabuta. Chicken's very nice and juicy. Very flavorful. Seasoning? Get that knife out. Good amount of salt. We got. Rose, look. That lemon Rose. flavor. Food, Rose. That uh, Rose. pickled lemon. It's very unique. It was good, Mommy. The pickled lemon is very interesting, right? Very interesting. Very interesting. How are you going, Ross? <laughs> it's going to be a messy thing to eat. It's messy, especially when you're hunching over like that. Yeah. But it's really good. Careful. I'm going to do the civilized thing. <laughs> this is all really good. The chicken is good enough on its own, but. We're going to uh, go in for the kill shot here. Let me see that. Oh, yeah. I think that's it's missing that. some asparagus. Here we go. Mmm. It's a symphony of flavors. Oh, the cookies, oh, you've got that. The cookie is like black on the bottom. Is it a bittersweet symphony, Art? Oh, uh, we got here? It's, just, it's symphonic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm still going to eat that. Well, we could whip up a batch ourselves, to be honest. Right, Art? Because, I mean, we made it yesterday. Let's just see. Sauce. Let me just see what's going on here. You still got to try the cookie. I'm still going to. I'm going to try it right now. Oh. Wow. Ah. <laughs> For those of you at home, he almost spit it on the screen of his iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. If you eat the top part, I ruined it. This is delicious. That was, I'm blaming it on you guys. You guys told me to grill it. And you gave me no tips about not having the heat over the direct burner. And then afterwards, you're like Monday I morning quarterback. I think I asked about it, didn't I? Like while you were doing it? Cool not that I know. Mm. Of course, your Monday morning Chime quarterback. Chime in. I think I may have. The Monday morning quarterback. Is like, oh, yeah, you should have not had the burner over there. That was good. All right. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is great. At least I crushed that, you guys. And we had the cookies last night, to be honest. So it's not like all is lost. All might be lost, though. Mm. Mm. I'll disagree. Yeah, no. yeah. All right, you guys. We just crushed uh, a little bit of drama. High drama here, right? But uh, we came through in the clutch. Oh, super chat. Jackie. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I appreciate that. Uh, Rose did a great job. Desti with the supporting cast. Art and I got off to the slow start there with that uh, chicken and the grill, but we crushed Let's make sure to support the channel by supporting Thrive Market. Clicking that link down below. Trying out Thrive Market, getting your free gift. If you don't like it, you cancel. No harm, no foul. Sunday morning, Thrive Market wants to uh, sponsor a, a breakfast with Bobby. Careful, Rosa. Uh, so I'll be back on Sunday, probably 10 o'clock in the morning-ish. Uh, but we're going to eat now. We're going to enjoy. Kara's going to come out. Art, Rose, Desi, and I will see you soon. Get, get in here, Desi. Right? Hello. <laughs> Rose and I will see you soon. Amazing time. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.